I'll personally never own a bass boat without those things. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. I wanna talk about five must have items on your bass boat. You know, these are things that uh, I will personally never own a boat without these five things on my boat you know they're not that expensive these are just little things that you might not think of that one make make your life so much easier make things so convenient um, kind of make things run a little more efficient make your units run better just just some sneaky little things that just make your life so much easier and that's what i'm all about is being efficient making my time on the water as enjoyable as possible so that's what these five things are going to do so First up, and these are kind of ranked in order, I think. So number one, this is the most important thing that I keep on my boat. My favorite piece of equipment, that's this right here, the trick step. Until you have one, you don't know. But there is no other way to get in and out of your boat than a trick step. It's by far the best, most easiest way to get in and out of your boat, whether you're loading up with tackle, whether you're just putting it on the trailer, coming down to tie up your straps. These three steps right here make it so easy, quick, easy, efficient. Hop right up into your boat. Trick step bolts up. Well, there's a couple options. If, if you're buying a Phoenix, you can get it direct from the factory welded onto your trailer. But I put it on after the fact. It just bolts right on here. You can get a trick step for any model boat. They'll even custom make one for any of your boats older boat, aluminum boat, deep V, walleye boat, whatever, they will customize a trick step for your boat and it's an absolute must have. You know, it's not that expensive. A few hundred dollars, get you a trick step. I promise you, you may laugh at first and think, oh, I don't need a trick step. I promise you, it will be the best thing that you ever put on your boat. It is just so easy and convenient, you know, trying to jump over the railing, you end up hitting yourself, maybe in the crotch area. It's not that good, a little painful. It is so much easier to get yourself a trick step, crawl up and in and out of the boat, just like that. Number one, must have item on the boat. Second, we're gonna to come to the back. So back here, this kind of goes with making the most out of your electronics and specifically your sonar readings. And that's going to be this guy down here. This is the Bass Fishing Electronics transducer mount. So this is the Lowrance Active Imaging transducer. And he, he made this mount here to uh, mount directly to your jack plate. So you're not putting any holes in your boat or anything like that. And it's a, extended a little bit. So it, it gets it down away from the jack plate. So there's no interference. You get a super clear reading. It's super sturdy. So you're not gonna have to worry about damaging that transducer at all. But it's actually the perfect, le perfect length from the jack plate, perfect height, whatever you wanna call it, that it stays protected from the hull of the boat. So anything that you would hit driving your boat would hit down there, and this is gonna stay protected, but it's in perfect clean water, no disturbance, and you're gonna get perfect crystal clear readings on your side imaging, your sonar, all that stuff all because of this mount. Really, it has nothing to do with the transducer. It has everything to do with the installation and specifically this Bass Vision Electronics transducer mount. So that right there is a must have, no matter if you're running Humminbird, Lowrance, Garmin, he's got a mount that'll fit all of those transducers, keeps it safe, secure, and getting the maximum efficiency on your sonar. Very important right there. All right, come over here, I got another little thing. This is another convenient factor. This is a super small little item, something you would never think about. And, and maybe some boats are set up a little different, so this may be kind of particular to a Phoenix, but I add this right here. This is the TH Marine Tackle Titan. So I mount it right down here above these compartment, these little compartments in the cockpit of the boat. And that is a magnetic bait keeper. So there's a few magnets under there. There's a few holes you could even hang hooks if you wanted, but I mainly just use it as the magnets and I use this as my catch-all. So whenever I cut off a trocar hook that I'm done using, 
I just throw it down there. The magnet catches it, keeps it there. That stuff will never blow around. It's not gonna end up swirling around in your boat and blowing around everywhere. Keep all your crankbaits, jerkbaits, top waters. Even holds tungsten, which I didn't realize tungsten was magnetic, but drop your epic tungsten drop shot weights down there. They stay safe and secure. So it just holds everything right there. So later on, I can go in and clean up this stuff, but when I'm on the water, I'm not looking to do that. So cut it off my, my line, drop it right down there. You could even, you know, don't even have to be accurate. That magnet just pulls it in and it, it's stuck there. Not gonna get a hook in your feet. Cause as you know, I like to fish barefoot. And uh, yeah, the Tackle Titan is a must have on my boat just for keeping organized and keeping everything convenient. So going along with fishing barefoot, we're gonna go to this guy over here. And that is the TH Marine Coalfoot. So this mounts to your trolling motor pedal. Doesn't matter what trolling motor you're running, they make one that fits all the pedals. But it's basically an EVA foam, I think it is. It's just a pad that goes over top of your trolling motor pedal and it keeps it cool. I don't know the science behind it. This is black, my pedal's black plastic, but this could be baking in the sun all day and it will not be hot. You can put your foot on there, no problem. Your carpet will actually get hotter than this, which doesn't make sense to me, but this right here keeps it cool and it actually adds a little bit of cushion. So when you're fishing barefoot, running the trolling motor all day, it doesn't hurt your foot, your heel, all that kind of stuff. So. I put one on on every single boat I run. And when I get in somebody else's boat that doesn't have one, I immediately know the difference and I just can't stand it. TH Marine Cool Foot, gotta have one on your boat. All right. Last but not least, this is gonna be a little specific to uh, Hummingbird 360. But if you do run a Hummingbird 360 on your boat, this guy right here, this is the Big Rig Bass and Quick Disconnect Mount. It's an absolute must have if you have Hummingbird 360, you know. I like to take my 360 off, whether I'm putting my cover on to travel far, the 360 gets in the way, doesn't fit right. Whether I'm just not using it, you know, there's certain situations where I just don't even want the 360 on the boat. It adds extra weight to my trolling motor. Not to mention it fills up with water and splashes you in the face every time you take off. So I take my 360 off if I'm not using it. And this quick disconnect mount makes it so easy. Literally, you got these two things here, twist them loose till they pop free. Just like that, your 360 is free. You can either lay it on the deck, disconnect it. Like you see, I didn't even have mine connected for this video purpose, but you can quickly take it off throw it in the truck, throw it wherever you want, in a compartment in the boat, that way you still have it. But this thing right here, quick and easy, disconnects your 360, and now you're not getting sprayed in the face. Your cover fits perfect. Big rig bassin, solving problems on your boat. So going along with the 360, we're gonna add in a bonus item and that would be the Bass Fish and Electronics 360 Stabilizer. So whenever I keep my 360 on, and I know I'm gonna be using it for a week or so, a whole tournament, that kind of stuff, I throw the stabilizer on. I mean, it's super easy to install. You got two Allen bolts on each side. They pop off, you put one end on the shaft of your trolling motor, the other end on the shaft of your 360, and it just locks down that whole package. Now this mount is super solid, up here but you got that big head of the 360 down here and it likes to flop around when you get into big waves and water and stuff like that so adding this stabilizer just stabilizes everything makes it rock solid so bass fishing electronics 360 stabilizer you got to have it if you're running a 360. so i think that's it that's my top five things that you got to have on your bass boat i'll personally never own a bass boat without those things let me know what you think. Drop it down in the comments below. Some items that you gotta have on your boat. Let me know what you think of my list. And I appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a likes, comments down below. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time.